Good afternoon. You're tuned in to Glory 93.9 FM, and it is that time, my favorite time, your favorite time of the day. It is officially girl talk time. Hey, hey, hey. How are you? I love that. Do it again. I love it. I love it. Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. But before we go into all of that, Marisha, girl, how you doing? I'm good. Look at the lion on the radio. Good, I just full. I had lunch. Oh, uh, mind you, and he yeah, smells nice. Problems. Yeah, I, I had, the same thing it when smelled I it smells nice. In. What you had? I had, um, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> joy. <laughs> Look at your face. What you had? I had some, some sweet, sweet and spicy crack chicken. Oof. Shy -yay. Yeah. The Lord is in the crack chicken. That yeah. should be good with crack conk. It was really good with some mm. fries. Mm -hmm. This from with, bamboo? No. With ketchup, hot sauce, and mayo. Mm. No onions? No you, onions. You need onions if you have any. I didn't want to have oniony breath. For the I show. understand. And then I had. Um, you just rather make us jealous with this nice thing. You know. It's a roll. I had a roll. It's got to be bamboo. <laughs> and I had, um, I had me a water malt. Okay. And some water. See, I'm drinking my That's water good. and minding my business. That's good. I love that for you. Yeah. I love that for you. So it wasn't very healthy. But it was good. But um, <laughs> but it was good. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you could. Kara, how you doing, hon? I am um, not full. <laughs> <laughs> I am hungry. Oh, wow. <laughs> the last thing I ate was some... Today could be a food, a food show. Fish. Go ahead. Fish and shrimp with corn on the cob. Just who like corn, boy? Just who like I, uh, corn? Got to be with everything. Right, that TikTok corn song on, for you. Corn on every day. It's corn. <laughs> Honestly, I like corn too. <laughs> no, but and I had that like almost midnight last night. I don't try this this morning. No, you could kill. Okay, I am sorry. I I am neither. Full, my lord, nor empty. my god, <laughs> I had some you nuggets. Look warm and I, you can make I, warm it. I had, <laughs> I had some nuggets. I had some nuggets, and thank, thank God for the nuggets. Thank God for the nuggets. It wasn't nothing special, it wasn't nothing fancy, but, but it, was um, something. it was something, and I'm grateful for yes. it. <laughs> my god. So, thank you for all those tuning in via Facebook Live, uh, Glory 93.9 FM. Those who will listen to this podcast or on YouTube, thank you for tuning in today. Today we are going straight in. I wish I had some long story about my week to tell you or about our week to tell you, but we are going straight in. And today's topic is, oh, I love it. Anyway, today's topic is my loyalty almost killed me. Lord Jesus. Before we go into that, let's just say, hey, D Denisha, we already see you. Hey, Denisha. Um... I think I have the next one. Okay. Bre Brene. Brene. Hi, Brene. Hi, Brene. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. It's always good to have Mom. Mm -hmm. Mom, how are you? I pray all is well. So our call and our text line, they are open. We're going to have them on the screen. Oh, I don't sorry. Know sorry. I apologize. You can, you can call us <laughs> or text us. Look here. My husband say, now nah, stop. Nah, you just nah, eat. Nah, Daniel, nah, Mar Marisha. Look. You see, the woman get the man eating pumpkin seed. You could kill. That's a snack. I really gave you something to eat, sir. <laughs> you could kill. Mm. Anyway, uh, you can day, call. My, my mommy teach me. Don't get mad. People business. <laughs> Listen, you can call us today at 828-3543 or text us anonymously at 828-2543. Brownie points for my anonymously. Anonymously, girl. Okay, you I practice that. I practice that in the mirror as well. <laughs> as well. You day a lot. Uh, 
Pray for me. Pray for uh, me to say it again at some child, point. Don't say it no more. <laughs> you just might say a bad word. <laughs> right? Wow. Um, so my loyalty almost killed me. And as I begin to think about this topic today and just the way life is going, loyalty isn't common. No. Loyalty is a rare commodity, actually. And um, if it's not a man having more than one woman, a woman having more than one man, my lord, maybe a woman onto that, or a man with the next man, lord, all of that. Wow, is, you're just going right in. Um, in our day and time, loyalty is very rare. I just want to make that statement. Okay, you're right at, at, at the foundation. Right, loyalty okay. is rare, but when you find loyalty, it is valued. Now, what we're talking about today is that my loyalty almost got me killed. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm going to take my time with this. You see, I'm talking slow. I'm speeding. <laughs> my loyalty almost got me killed. And l- let, me, let, me, let me read the definition of loyalty. Love it. Let's go right in. To be faithful to a person or, a, or have allegiance where affection is due. Faithful to a cause, cause or idea. Right? Another definition. Loyalty generally means um, a person's devotion or sentiment of attachment to either a particular object, you get the picture, Mm -hmm. uh, which may be another person or group of persons. It's a duty or a cause that you would buy into, basically. Now, when, when we find loyal people, let's deal with the loyal people first. When we find loyal people, we gotta hold on to them. Absolutely. I feel like, especially among women, we are not loyal to each other because everyone is looking out for themselves. Hmm. Y'all quiet on me. I listen in dialogue. If you if you disagree, then help me out. But I feel no, like, like you like you like I don't know if you realize, but like you coming in like heavy, like <laughs> you won't even like ease us in there. This is like, like this is like we haven't even gotten any. I, I used to this. No, I to like I used to look like no, hey. no fluff. No fluff. Just let's right talk about, there. let's talk about, you know, like you just, like you dive us right in. So I, 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 wow. Amen. Right. So I, I and, and this is something that I find, um, even in the gospel community, that we are loyal only to ourselves. Mm. We are trained to only look out for ourselves. And that's where the root of disloyalty when it comes to other persons come in. Mm. Because I'm only true to me or I'm mm. only true to my few. But I think, Once someone is loyal, you get that straight across the board. Mm -hmm. How you are with your friends, how you are um, in relationships, how you are on your job, all Mm -hmm. of these, all of these things, all of these factors determine um, our loyalty. So I'll start off by saying, do you think you're loyal? Are you loyal or are you loyal on condition? Um, To whom? Any or what? Anything. I have, I, have, I feel like one can't go without the other. I have my loyalties to certain things and to certain people. But if I don't have loyalty in like concerning everything, does that make me a disloyal person? Or I does, that, I or does that make me someone who like just is using wisdom as I, to where I, I to place my loyalty is? No. When I talk about, when I'm saying loyalty mm-hmm. straight across the board, mm-hmm. it isn't because you loyal to one particular thing and then it makes it means that you're disloyal i'm saying okay if someone is kind they're They're always kind they're always kind okay that's that's my point okay so it doesn't mean that you're disloyal it just and it isn't um knocking boundaries but when you're loyal or uh, let me see. I mean, I'm trying to find another word. What's another word for loyal? When you're faithful uh, to someone or something, okay. usually it's straight across the board, whether it has boundaries or not. So if I'm if I'm loyal to a particular organization, I'll be loyal there, right? But if I'm loyal to a friendship, I'll be loyal there too. But it may not be to the same dedication. And it may as, look it may look different. It may look different. But okay. I'm saying that once you are loyal, it's usually straight across the board. Car, would you consider yourself loyal? I, I can I don't I, I have an issue with the straight cross the board thing. Okay. You, you can't be loyal to everything at one time. 
You can't. But are you a loyal you, person? Though? I am a loyal person. That, right, and I think that's the question. Is, yeah, that's the point. It's that's not, the question. It's she's not asking yeah. not necessarily board. that if it's a straight across the board situation, but are you a loyal person? Like when you just generally, you I am. When you commit, you commit. You commit. Yeah, I'm not with saying friendships. Every, I am, and that's why I'm very skeptical about calling everybody a friend. My name, friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Okay, I got you. Okay, not a problem. So, um, I feel like when we talk about loyalty. It's, it's a tight conversation because everyone wants someone to be loyal to them, but we're not being loyal to people, if that makes sense. So, I, so we I, have the expectation to receive loyalty, but, but, we, but don't, not, we don't give it. But not, but not give it. Hmm. What do you think? Hmm. I think sometimes we want loyalty. Oh, okay. People are loyal to us. And we're not loyal to them and vice versa. So sometimes it's a it's an issue of who you're giving your loyalty to. It's mm. sort of not on the same page. Because mm. I see a lot of people being loyal to people they shouldn't be loyal to. So it's like a blind loyalty yeah, almost. Yeah. yeah. And then mm. and then the people that really should get that much from them. They don't get it. They don't, they don't give that right. to them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think um I think that there are times, like if I could think about my past experiences, that there have been times when I expected loyalty from people mm -hmm. because I gave it. Mm -hmm. And um, I was disappointed when I didn't get the loyalty that I gave. Um, I was heartbroken. Um, and then if I tell the truth, my... I, I was I wouldn't say like I cut them off, but I was careful with mm -hmm. access. How much, how much energy? Access after that. I yeah. was careful with my that's not even true. I wasn't even careful careful with access. I was careful with expectations. Yeah. So I didn't change if I'm honest, I didn't change my behavior toward the person. I just or people or whatever. Um I just chose to um to not expect loyalty from them anymore. Mm. So that whenever they were loyal to me, I was surprised. You want to sound where I'm coming mm. from? Like it was a shocker because there's nothing like when, especially when it's like a new relationship, whether it's a friendship mm. or if it's like with a significant other or whatever, or there's nothing like, let's say it could happen within your family. Like let's say this happens in life. Sometimes you get closer to certain family members dur during different season of yes. seasons of your life, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And so it could happen in any kind of relationship where it's new mm -hmm. and you're just getting to know this side of this person yeah. or you're just getting to know this person on another level and you're discovering things that, that, that happen in your life, that happen in their life that are similar mm -hmm. but yet different. You're discovering all of these things about this person and you take a liking to them and you start to share your life with them and then something comes up Let's say, like, they have to make a decision between um, being there for you or doing something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you would think because of your level of loyalty, loyalty to, to that them. person yeah. that they would choose you. you automatically. But then they don't choose you. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, whoa. But I wait. Understand. Like, and so. Oh. Okay. I understand. So then you mm -hmm. don't. Not, I, in, my, in my case. In my situation, when I had something similar, it wasn't necessarily someone who chose something else over me, but the, their, their loyalty to themselves was revealed to me. Mm, okay. That was when I said, oh, wait. So I'm just going to back it up. And um, I'm going to not expect loyalty from you anymore. Because I was disappointed. I was, wait, I was shocked. Wow. And then I think what, like, what made it even harder for me to like manage in terms of like my emotions and the fallback was like, I didn't even know how to change my level of loyalty in the particular mm. situation that I was dealing with. So I remained loyal to the person. Mm. I didn't change my commitment. Mm. I just changed my expectation. That's good. From that person. That's good. Because the person was such a key part of my life. 
I, I, I didn't know how to not be loyal to them. Mm. Literally, like I couldn't imagine an existence where I wasn't loyal to this person. Mm. Wow. But I discovered that when the rubber hits the road and when the stuff hits the fan, that they would choose themselves. And <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I hear everything else you say, but I just really wanted to go ahead, preach. So when the stuff <laughs> hit the fan and they chose themselves, I realized, okay, I'm not gonna demonize this person. I'm okay. not going to, just because I realize that they are going to go into self-protect mode, they're gonna go into defensive mode, they're gonna go into I, me mode. It doesn't mean that the person mm. is a horrible person. It just shows me that if we go with um, um, Bishop, Denzel's, Bishop Denzel Rule's definition of the word love, it means that they love themselves more than they love mm. me. And that's okay. Because that's not my spouse. So they're not required to love to, me more than they love extra. themselves. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're not it. required to choose my need over theirs. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of times in our relationships, when it comes to loyalty, we have to ask ourselves, like, okay, what kind of loyalty am I expecting from this person? Am I expecting them to choose me over them? Because I feel like if it's not your spouse, if if it's not your spouse, you but should expect people to choose themselves. But, but that's the thing. I feel like, <laughs> like we expect a million things out of people and we treat friendships or families or however you want to put whatever relationship it is, we taking it and we holding it tight. A little too tight. And, if, and if, if you don't do this for me or if you don't be here when I ask you to or if you don't da 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 or whatever it is, be here every day. 24-7 or if you don't answer my call or if you don't respond to my WhatsApp or if you don't see me trying to reach out to you when I know life is busy, if we don't do that, then we automatically cut off. Because don't forget, we in the cut-off culture. Oh, yeah, we are. So the minute you seem like... And the thing is, we have to bring some humanity to, the, to this. You cannot expect me to be everywhere, every time, every place. No. But um, on the flip side, we, can, we can't... We, like, it's, it's vice versa. I don't expect you to be everywhere, and I don't think you should expect me to be in everywhere. But when it's, I don't know, I don't want to say serious. Let me tell you what I think it is. Let me tell you where I draw the line. And I always tell people this, because people ask me, how do I make decisions as to where I place my loyalty? How do I make mm -hmm. the call as to, do I choose me? Do I choose the other mm -hmm. person? I think about my reputation and my witness. Mm. If being disloyal to you mm. is going to cause someone to cringe when my name come up, comes up in a room, mm. then I'm going to be loyal to you or loyal to whatever commitment that I made or loyal to the situation or the circumstance. Does that make sense? I understand. Um, I, I, I guess I view mine just a little bit differently. It depends on the situation. Um, I feel like the people, I, I, and y'all can help me out. I feel like the people that I am most loyal to and are most loyal to me would give me give me more grace. Ah, uh, you understand? They so, would understand <clears throat> if you don't choose them because I'm they would always be more, there for them. They would be more lenient. Or they I got are you. always there for me. I got you. You understand? So I, I'm careful when or just choosing how much to pull back on someone or something based on one thing that happened. Now, if this is something that happens all the time and you have a history of just slapping up, <laughs> then, then, then we take in the question your loyalty. You understand? I got you. Carl, what you think? You say, you... I think it, it, has, it has to be coupled with understanding, understanding of the person and Who of the situation. Because let's say a friend called me, a boyfriend boxing the head open. I won't come to you, but something with my son come up. I okay. can't come. That has to shift because now that's a different level of, you understand, mm. of loyalty. And I don't think it's fair for my friend to say, oh, your child could have waited. Mm. If this, is the, this isn't something you're used to from me. You know when you call me, I'm there, no matter how small, how big and what's not. So the, I think... There needs to be a level of understanding of the person. Should you be giving 
loyalty away to someone that you don't understand or don't know mm. in that way. But that's the thing. We think we know people. Mm. We think we know, but mm. we have a very limited understanding of who they are and what they believe in. So I, 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 let's say I may know Sally or I may know Sue, but I only know Sue on a surface level mm -hmm. based on what Sue exposes to me. What but she let or what right. she lets you see. What, what she lets yeah. me see. Yeah. But um if she if she doesn't expose herself to me, there is only so much there's only so much I can do. So I, you can't expect me if homeboy oh boxing your head open. I didn't even know you had a boyfriend. You, you understand what I'm saying? I didn't even know you had a boyfriend. And then and you call me and expect me to drop everything. You was in that experience as an example though. I remember having a conversation with someone about a similar situation. <laughs> where a friend called them because like they are and they are significant other was having a fight come help me because this is what going down and when they go on there the people who was fighting against one another end up turning and fighting against that person mm -hmm. who came to deal with the situation mm -hmm. and after they shared that story with me it made me second guess now hold on now wait a minute y'all wait a minute because now I'm thinking to myself, boy, the next time somebody call me and tell me they in a situation. Or call you out your bed. It's really out the bed. Out my bed? No, I got to ask. Now, hold on. Why y'all fighting? Like, what the issue is? Because you'll, you'll, be you'll be the enemy. Because then I could be the enemy. I'm going to be the third person always. And then, and, and, and in this situation, it's not a matter of whether or not I'm loyal or not. It's like what the deal is. What, but, but what makes sense? What's really happening here? Because in this moment right here, whatever is going on, while I am concerned about you, I want you to sleep. My safety is my number one priority. I am loyal to my safety. If you question it where my loyalty is right now, if we talk about that situation you're talking about, and you call me and you say, Well, homeboy, just hit me, whatever, blah, 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 blah. 911, baby. So Call me say, when you get to the police station. Why say <laughs> understanding, <laughs> understanding the person, and we also have to learn to understand the person with, without being offended by what we see. Um, I'm going back in my mind to Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane when he wanted the disciples to watch and pray. Right, right, and right. They leave Jesus hanging. They leave oh, him. Hanging. They left him hanging, and even though he brought it up, he was like, "Y'all couldn't." Y'all can come on. One hour? Yeah, y'all can y'all can do that for me. Y'all can watch and pray for this one hour. Time, all, all I all I all I say. But he still he still what I get from that story is he still understood, you know, some people's capacity in certain situations in us. And then I think not, in all, us. not only that, I feel like um the way that I have to take, everyone can't go. Whether and I, that was the whole point. Like mm. although um I wanted you to stay up with me and tarry for this one Money hour. Loyal man, you know that you understand mm, where I'm coming from. I understand. What I ain't gonna die for y'all, man. Y'all ain't loyal. But but and, and, and th mm. I think this is what one of you was saying, or someone in the comments started to say, um, his loyalty was a non condition. He didn't right. change his mind because they fell asleep. Good. Or, or if I could throw this in there, he never expected them to stay awake. That too. He knew he was Jesus. But I, that's good. His loyalty didn't switch or shift based on their level of disloyalty. In fact, I wouldn't even call it disloyal. They just couldn't handle it. If it was you, a lot. If yeah, you, capacity. <laughs> capacity. If you could lot. look at it from a different perspective, everybody couldn't even handle being at rest with him being in that kind of turmoil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it from the perspective of the fact that like, not all of the disciples were invited to the Garden yeah. of Gethsemane. Yeah. Only certain ones right. were. And that's what you're talking about, levels. Right. So there's only certain people that you will allow to see you in that broken yeah. place to begin with. And then, not to say that this was the case of the disciples, but if I'm honest, if I were me, and I'm looking at God in the flesh, and he's in the Garden of Gethsemane, and it looked like he freaking himself out, do it. I just see you say, peace be still to the wind. I go and sleep. I go and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I go and sleep. You got that. You got, you got this. this in the bag. You got this. Like, <laughs> why? Like, you really why? To, like, you don't need me to. Like, what you need me for? What are we you, Do it. I didn't even know it was you. And it was you, and you feed me breakfast. I understand. I understand. 
You feed me breakfast, <laughs> and you feed me breakfast after you tell me cast my net to the next side of the water. Right, so why, and why it wasn't no fish, it? and I was fishing all day, and then all of a sudden there was so much fish, the net break. You can handle this. But why you can't handle this, though? Why you can't handle this by yourself? You, you got this. I'm going to go to sleep. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. But that, that is a different perspective. You understand what I'm saying? It's another, it's like another, like, and I think that's loyalty in, a, in another perspective. If you have a friend that, like, okay, for example, let me see what example I could use. Uh, I can't use that example with y'all. Y'all ain't never taste my food. Um... um Okay, if I said to either of y'all, right, man, I panicking my makeup artist, cancel on me for this event. The two y'all will roll y'all eyes at me. Because y'all know I am perfectly capable of beating my own face. That there's nothing stopping me. Like, I, like I, am, I don't have any kind of debilitation. I am not disabled. I am not ignorant. I have the full capacity to fix my face if necessary. Mm -hmm. So if I call y'all, I can't believe my makeup artist canceled on me. Y'all will probably listen to me for a couple minutes. Let me get my frustration out. And then you can say, okay, so Marie, you're going to go sit down and do your makeup now, right? Joyne, would you let her run on for minutes, though? I don't think I let you run. <laughs> I don't think Joyne would. You know, she mixed her nice too up. See, I, I, was, I was just letting her talk. I was letting her do the no, but no, no, no. Sis, sis, relax I, yourself. I, I, I probably would row. You'd be like, Marisha, if you don't come with my phone, talk about hey, foolishness. Like, miss. You're wasting time. Oh, the time you take to run on me, you can do your eyebrows. Please like, go right. bed and get ready right, hurry and come up. off my phone. Hurry up. Hurry up. Please hurry up. Go One minute. You know what? I can't go read comments because I didn't do this today. <laughs> I didn't do this. Anyway, let's just say. Um, boy, y'all killed the stage last evening. I thought I was watching the Rich and Famous show. Whatever, Lister. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh my gosh. Um <laughs> oh, BB says no, she ain't loyal. She has a condition. That's what she say. She have condition. My computer moving a little slow, so when the comment go up, okay. So true. I feel everybody trying so much to compete against one another, so it causes us to be disloyal. Chevette says, powerful position, Marisha. Ever heard, Latoya says, ever heard the saying loyal to a fault? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Not everyone appreciates loyalty. I definitely agree with that. I'm so sorry, y'all. My computer moving slow. What's up right now? I, same thing. Okay. I click in stuff. I just click something too. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Baby says, that's, <laughs> that's why now I always expect people to put themselves first. And I shall do the same. Every man for themselves. My lord, my lord. That's scary, though. <laughs> that is yeah. scary. That's scary. <clears throat> Risha, it's 2023. I only expect prayer and financial <gasps> friendship. Mighty warrior. Phoebe, <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> what happened, baby girl? Oh, tell, tell us what happened. Talk to us. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Crystal says, if I, feel, if, I, if I feel if being disloyal to you is... I feel if being disloyal to you is me going against myself, mm. it's not worth it. Like compromise. Like I have to compromise what I mm. believe in. Like what you were saying, your safety. Mm -hmm. My safety. Yeah. And even beliefs. Ooh. If right. I have to become, become another person in order to be loyal to you, there's an issue. Mm. There's an issue. Chevette says they should give you more grace. Crystal also says loyalty shouldn't come at a cost to me. I should never feel like it's uneven. Not as beneficial or one-sided. One I love that. Um, BB says, "LOL, why ahead? Even I'm getting punch off. off. Telecall nine one one. I was gonna offer her for me to call nine one one for her." <laughs> Tanisha say, "Out of my bed, child. Ain't too much. much ain't too much of that. <laughs> Lord Jesus." After 9 p.m., that between you, Jesus, and the popo. Y'all better figure it out. Monique says, I can say that. Joy Day Gibson up. is truly a good example of what true loyalty is. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so Thanks, sweet. Um, BB say exactly, Risha. I know she's saying exactly, too, but amen. <laughs> I, Monique, be loyal to truth. Mm, that's okay. good. I yeah. like it. That's yeah. good. That's real good. I like it. I like it. 
Um, <clears throat> BB said a strong friend. I know what she's referring Once to. Once when we're talking with Jesus. Oh, yeah. The strong friend. He's a strong friend. <laughs> a strong friend. He is the strong friend. And um, patience just laughing. Um, Telsey Miller says, hi, God's children. Damn. Damn. Hi, Telsey. Hi, hey. Telsey, honey. How you doing? I'm trying to get to the last comment, but my computer freezes. It says, this is funny. I mean, in three Debbie pies with raisin on it last Man, month. I want to be the oatmeal <laughs> cream, man. <laughs> I like them raisin pet. That was funny. Debbie pie. That was that, thank you. Maybe Debbie thank without you. raisin. Yeah. Pick the raisin out. And we could talk. And we could we could work it. Thank you, Telsey. Thank you, Telsey. Thank thank you, Telsey. My my issue with loyalty is um when people are loyal to me on condition. You you loyal to me and you love me and tell someone that of what you may think of uh, as higher value comes around and you treat me different. That's that's loyalty on condition. I am faithful to you. I'm going to use me as an, as oh an example. I, oh, what do you mean to me? No, what you said just now just brought back memories. I say, oh, my God. Yeah, because yeah. Um, I've experienced it one too many times, um, especially as of late. Um, we are loyal to people when it's favorable or when they're up, if that makes sense, or... I can I can be Kara's friend once Kara is on top, or I can be mm. Marisha's friend once she's on top. And the minute Sally Sue drops to the bottom of the thing, I'm <laughs> I can not use off example. Um, yeah, the, the minute you know, the minute the minute something goes left, or a tragedy is in my life, or in someone else's life, mm. bush crack, man gone. It, it it doesn't mean that um. You're not, you're not disloyal to my face or by your speech, but your actions are betraying your, your speech, posture, right? So mm -hmm. when, when I really need you, and it may not be physically need you there, but when I really need you, and I don't want to be deep, but when I really need you to catch me in the spirit, you worrying about the people that you consider more highfalutin than me. Do you understand? And I, I don't like that. I've experienced that. Um, one too many times, and I'm going to just take my word. I'm like, what I told Marisha, maybe it's something about me that, mm. that, gives, that gives that boundary to do that foolishness in my face. Mm. You see me run or, or, Yeah, I see, or, the, you, 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 see, you, you see, see the side, the, see the teeth on the side. Like, yeah, it's dog. a crazy spirit. <laughs> or, <laughs> me, right? or it's your expectation of that person. And, and, this yeah. is, and this is, I, I said that to go here. When loyalty is harmful, that's how you know there's a red flag and you should not be loyal. Loyalty can be harmful when your allegiance to the other person becomes consistently detrimental to you. I'll say it again. Loyalty can be harmful when your allegiance to the other person becomes consistently detrimental to you. Some people remain in relationships that no longer serve them. In these instances, their sense of loyalty can cause them to be exploited or abused. Job, please. So we, I want I want to get to the almost killed me part of okay. the, the mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, woman of God. Because can I testify? Go ahead. Testify. Uh, can we talk about why my camera blurry first? First, first oh, of no, all, get it together. I know. All of our cameras. No oh, man, mine bad. On my computer, every single camera that I'm looking at right it's now scary. is blurry. So, ain't no difference. That's why I took all the other devices off the Wi-Fi. I don't know what's going on with the internet today. That's fine. But let's roll. Go ahead, Carol. Um, yeah, it's it's the the part of the whole topic for me is the almost kill me part. And a lot of times we're we're taught to stick things out. We're taught to. Forgive, and, and I'm not saying we're not to forgive. We are to forgive. Mm -hmm. um, but reconnection ain't always a part of forgiving. Okay? okay. Say that again. Yeah. I didn't hear you. Reconnection doesn't always have to be a part of forgiving. Okay. If I stick this plug in the socket, and the socket shocks me every time, mm. Find another socket or don't stick the plug in there. Why do I need to use that socket to turn on my thing or, or my... You all understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So the, the part, the talking about the almost killed me, 
have y'all ever, and talking to you two ladies in the studio and y'all who are watching, have y'all ever felt as if you were taught to endure and call it loyalty when it's just you enduring in a painful situation um, and a situation that is not beneficial to your health mentally, physically, and even spiritually? Have you ever been in that position? How long did you stay in it? I'm not talking about relationships, marriage. I'm talking about friendship. Maybe it was a work environment or something like that. I know personally of someone that worked for her mom. Her mom had a store. I won't say what kind of store it is. And she had these dreams of wanting to go and finish school and do what it is that, praise God, she's doing today. But she stayed there. Mm. Her entire 20s just left. She's sitting behind a cash register in her mom's thingum because loyalty was getting thrown in her face. Mm. I'm trying, I'm, just, I'm your mom and I'm trying to build this. Where's your loyalty? You won't go to college and leave me and you know I can't do it and da 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 da. You understand? Mm. So it's just, it's also, it can be a killer of dreams mm. as, as well. Have y'all ever found yourself <clears throat> in that predicament? <clears throat> Yeah, ish. Um, I <clears throat> okay. So <laughs> no, this is the legit. This is the legit question. This is very legit, and I know when once I say this, Joy May will know exactly where I'm coming from, because she and I have had a conversation about this before. When you are in a situation where, like. You, let's say you're not necessarily being treated the way that you're supposed to be treated, but mm -hmm. your loyalty is there. Mm -hmm. As a believer, how do you not know that this isn't God putting you through a Saul David process to get you to the throne? Mm. Because I have had, that's why I say yeah-ish, because I have found myself in the situation where I was not being treated the way that I was supposed to be treated and I needed to get out and getting out was what was best for me. And then I found myself also in a situation where not necessarily being treated the way that I desired to be treated was actually working a process for where God has me now. I don't know how. I David was anointed. No, but David was anointed for that. I'm anointed for that. Don't, don't, don't. That's David. Don't, don't know. mix me up. What if God just, just <laughs> said, what if, Tara, David? What if, <laughs> what if, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I it's do. It's hard. It, I understand your point. It's though. hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, because I, I heard you say for, forgiveness doesn't always require reconnection, right? And we've had this conversation before. Y'all know my views on forgiveness are very different from both of yours. Mm -hmm. I don't um, remember that, but okay. You don't remember that? I don't remember. But okay. okay. No, we, had we had that conversation. We had that. We had that conversation on air. <laughs> wow, I can do better. Um, but I, I struggle sometimes, and I think that this is something that exists in our generation, but also in the generations that have come up behind us. Mm -hmm. Um, I agree that the generations before us have made have glorified struggle a little bit too much and okay. made it look mm -hmm. like it was necessary. Mm -hmm. And I think that because it has been painted the way that it was painted, we now have a resistance to struggle and difficulty mm. to the point where we think that we're always supposed to be on a bed of roses, right. mm -hmm. that we're never supposed to Nothing be uncomfortable, yeah. that we're not supposed to be sharpened or there's not supposed to be any chafing or any pruning. Mm -hmm. And I think that not every situation or circumstance that you walk into in life is going to be ideal and everybody will not give what you put out. And sometimes when we find ourselves in these situations where we're being loyal to people but they're not being loyal to us or like the example that you gave where we're in a situation, we're in a circumstance that's not necessarily beneficial to us, I think sometimes there are lessons in those situations and we need to ask God ask ourselves, am I here because I chose to be here or am I here because God has called me to this place? 
or to this environment in this season or in this time of my life. And y'all know I don't even like to use the word seasons and times, but the, the truth of the matter is there are seasons and times in our lives where God has called us to literally go through a pruning process. And pruning does not look like someone being careful and cautious all the time, looking at your branches and your leaves to see what's the best thing to take from you. Sometimes pruning happens because a hurricane comes and your branches are simply just yucked off by the wind. And what do you say? God don't send a hurricane? Hurricanes have to happen in order for the, for the mm. earth to have its balance. So what do you tell God about these situations and circumstances that you find yourself in where like it's not it's not comfortable it doesn't bring you joy but it's working toward a greater glory what do you do I, okay so for me i just have an issue um and we are growing um Child. i have an issue with anything concerning my feelings towards anyone um being manipulated so even with respect to my loyalty towards people, I don't want that being manipulated. Speaking as, as a human being, I don't want to hear um, from it. I know I would never hear it from my mom, but or you have to stay here. You have to do this because it's, it's something about her that she's trying to get mm. made better, but it, it has nothing to do with me. Okay. So you're manipulating, you're using my love for you, my respect for you, okay. my awesome. loyalty to you to okay, manipulate. I got it. Yeah, when it's a selfishly driven thing. Well, That's hard. Well, for me, um, yes, I've definitely um, <laughs> got <at> that. <laughs> um, and as Marisha started to touch on it a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, with the whole Saul and David situation. And blah, 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 blah. I mean, and it was a little bit extreme. I ain't gonna lie. So I was running out a little bit. I he was know. running out. He's 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 anyway, running out. But what I mean, yeah. David got the throne, though. I mean, and then, but you made. And then Jonathan. You Jonathan made. Issues. You made a very valid point. But I want to just let's clarify what is the thin line. What says this is enough? Babe. You sitting in the room with this dude, playing your instrument. You bust off your head. <laughs> and he <laughs> throws up. Like, like, like you understand, understand what I'm saying? I do understand. Like, he, like, he literally tries to kill you. Well, I'll say this. For me, um, and maybe it's just the way I was brought up, and that's both naturally and spiritually. Um, I found myself in a recent situation where... Um, I just wanted to be done with these people, right? And and it may seem selfish, right? Because I just was like, you know something? I don't have to take this. Listen to pride now. I don't have to take this. I um, don't deserve this. I feel, yeah, the feelings. I feel like I deserve to be treated better. I feel that um, you can give me more respect um, all of these things I felt and immediately, or I guess after running on in my head a bit, <laughs> you know, I know those conversations that we have in our head um, to God. And immediately after, um, I knew that this process is something that I need for my next mm. level. Right? One. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Then I experienced something else. And um, it was where persons were disloyal to me. And I had to draw a line, if that makes sense. Draw a line in the sand. No, mm -mm. a line in concrete so you don't mix it up, right? Not in sand. Sand, sand so the line can be blurred a bit. That line will be blurred so quick. Right? I had, to, I had to draw a line, but I had to learn how to conduct myself in drawing that line. So because you were so used to having that access to me or being this particular way mm -hmm. with me or, you know, always da 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 Joe. Everybody's calling me Joe. Joe. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I had to 
value myself just a little bit higher. And I'm, I'm careful saying this because it's very touchy. I had to um, just just take just take the value up a little a little bit higher. Um, the difference between David and anybody else is the call. Mm. Based on what I'm called to, and I'm in to be deep or You're right. make it spiritual, but based on the assignment, based on the call, certain things we have to endure. Mm -hmm. Right? It doesn't mean that. Um, I don't, I I, I want to be careful. It doesn't no, mean that, you know, you just accept anything. But when you understand what God has called you to, some things we have to walk through. Some things we have to walk through to be able to tell someone or not even tell someone. We know what not to do when we're in that position. Mm -hmm. So David as king could never be what Saul was as king. Mm -hmm. You understand the way he handled his people? wouldn't be the same way Saul. So sometimes it's it's God's way of showing you what not to do. Right. Exactly. In real time. Exactly. Right? But I, I feel like it's I feel like it's I I answering your question. I hope I'm helping. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a thin line and you only can tell when your feelings are out of it. If you're mm -hmm. going based on how you feel. How you feel yeah. and how it makes yeah. you look. Yep. And you know, um I think someone said, you know, my loyalty shouldn't make me look silly. Loyalty does. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That uh, that Absolutely. Jesus Jesus was the epitome of someone of looking silly. Of looking silly <laughs> because you proclaim this God. Absolutely. And then he puts you through this process and then embarrasses you, or what we would say, That's on a cross. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Yeah. Um let you live a low life. Mm -hmm. No fancy, no flashy, nope. nothing. And I no, mean, dude, you on the cross crying out for somebody who turned their back on you, mate. Right. right. And mm. it was based on the assignment. Thank you, Lord. So I feel, I feel like it, there's a pretty thin line. Um, the only way you can really tell is by discerning, honestly. Exactly. And the Holy Ghost really have to tell you what to do and what's tolerated. A lot of times, um, I have conversations with people, and they they say things like, "Joe, I ain't going there because they is doing like da 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 da," and I've been in many situations, <laughs> countless situations, where persons are deliberately rude, deliberately ignore you, deliberately mm -hmm. walk around you, deliberately walk straight past you, um, for whatever reason, because it don't really matter. And then God says, you say hello. Mm -hmm. why, don't, why don't you fix your spirit? Mm -hmm. Why don't you show them what the David is like to us all? Be the bigger mm -hmm. person. Right, and it, 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 is, it is very difficult to be the bigger person, especially in this day and time, because what you have me for? You think I'm, I'm do I look like a strumpet gigger? Can I tell you all my conversation with God one day? I say, God, if you wanted me to be the bigger person, you should have made me skinny. This would be what we ain't doing today. Not, not today. Honestly, this, this maybe we, tomorrow. This would be ain't doing. Let me interject my thing. I'm in there. Because Marisha. But, but I, Marisha. Cara, anyway. I all night, last serious. night, and today. No. <laughs> no. I mean, not Marisha. Cara, you understand where I'm coming from? I do. Because a, a lot of. Y'all are taking me seriously. No, I was serious. I'm talking to Cara now, right? <laughs> Cara, they need you to focus on me. Anyway, y'all are very I, I feel I like. This conversation. I, I feel like it, right, it depends. And then, see, Carol, Carol, you got to focus. Sometimes I want to be small. Carol, you got to focus. She in my ass. She don't, right there. I, she in my ass, too, but you got to focus. Sometimes Keep your eyes I on Jesus. Be the smaller person. Don't sink. Peter. I always want to be the bigger person. Thou bid me to come. Shucks. If it's you, Lord, bid me to come. Walk in the water. I'm a Carol. <laughs> right? But um, I feel like it's a thin line. Mm -hmm. And then, based on where we're at in our life and how we view ourselves, mm -hmm determines what happens in that season, so to speak. Okay, so I'm glad you said that, because, Marisha, hold on, hold on, because I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I was going to say something I'm, sensible. I'm glad you said, think said I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, they treat me on So, me, personally, no, I, I did, yo. Pers Boy. personally speaking, um, and ladies on the feed, y'all could feed, um, give y'all um, chime in on that water, question. Like that but I realized um, talking from personal experience, right? So when I went into full-time ministry, mm. meaning working in a church, Holy Ghost and fire. That was the hardest. That was for me, 
my soul and David situation. Mm -hmm. Not talking about leadership. Of, about a particular I'm, yeah, I'm not talking understand. about leadership. Let me let me just put that out there. Um, just people in general, and not being able to be Cara from 2012. Mm. I had to be the Cara that got saved. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? After 2012, and that was hard. And guess what? I'm noticing now certain things that I couldn't speak up on then. I will speak up on it now. You know mm -hmm. why? I went through that, and thank you, Lord. He graced me in that situation mm -hmm. to somehow be able to discern the saying yes, he's in the same mm -hmm. Somehow. As young as I was in the faith and what's not, he strengthened me as much as I cried. I, yeah. I kicked, I um, um, break up my, I shouldn't say that. Well, now you know, it's me who did break the camera. <laughs> Break up the um, the man camera, throw in a tantrum because I couldn't express this. Because it's uncomfortable. Yeah, I break up my camera. I, I I couldn't express this. It's powerful. Um, I, on the job, I couldn't express it in in the middle of ministry, and then I had to go and lead worship on Sunday, and I had to look down and with everything within me, with all the love in my heart that I could muster up, try to encourage the people that broke me down all week. Mm. You understand? So, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, I get it. So, but that in that season, the Lord strengthened me somehow, and I had some level of discernment to say, to say in my time. So, that's why Saul could like how Saul could do what he did to David, and David still, David still was the one who had to play them demons over them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Um, and as worship leaders, you all know, and somehow that person always finds themselves in your line of vision. First thing Sunday morning. Right, right. You Just understand? Like but now, there. now, after having learned, being strengthened, and everything, now I know when it's okay to shut things down and when it's okay to leave it alone. Just, just let it go. So it's a strengthening process. It's a growing process. And it's not wisdom. Yes. Plays a big role in it. And believe it or not, sometimes it's, it's, it, we got to, Pay attention to all of the signs because you may not hear it in your head or the Holy Ghost tell you open the Bible and then this word say, don't say nothing. You have people around you who have went through maybe not the same situation, but similar situations who can say, man, Cara, listen, I've been here. Don't fool with that. Or now that mm -hmm. Cara has walked that way or Joyne or Marisha has walked that way, you can say, listen, just, just play it cool for right now. I think safety in a multitude of counsel. I think that what has um, brought me to the place where I rest right now concerning loyalty and relationships and just the way that I deal with people. And I had to come to this place because I found myself emotionally just so all over the place. Mm. Because one of the things that can become exhausting when we have conversations like this is trying to establish all these different levels with different people, mm. trying mm -hmm. to keep up. So mm -hmm. how do I keep up with the level of loyalty that I have with Joyne? Mm. But I have loyalty with Kara, mm. and I have loyalty with my mom, and then I got loyalty with my sisters, I got four. And then I got loyalty with my brother. And then my Grammy had danger, and do you know how much cousins I have? Yep, loyalty. You know what I'm saying? And then I have people I like. Like, just like, because they exist, right? No, like, I mean, like, not, not, because, not because we have any deep connection, but I just like you. Like, I see you when I like you. And, Marisha, I want to take you serious today. You know? Oh, my gosh, I'm being serious. I have, a, I have a commercial break. Marisha, I need you to remember if I screw up my windows oh, when I came. Because oh, yeah. I had ton and like Lynn. Uh, and I clean. Yeah, when I was clean. always supposed to be screw up. I didn't screw it down to talk to you when I reach. It was over, well, it was down when you came. Why would you leave your windows down? I don't remember if it's <laughs> and what's crazy is us sitting here talking about it. And anyway, but I love you all. Let's get back on on. So, <laughs> like, I have a. I'm I'm not saying that I have loyalty to you, but I have to consider how I treat. How I treat the person who I just like, like all of these different things, like okay, like it could become 
tedious, overwhelming, time consuming. Okay, so I I'm only gonna give Joy Nui two percent of my loyalty this mm -hmm. week because mm -hmm. I need to give the rest to my Grammy. I don't know. Right. Whatever. I understand. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that um that I have been wrestling with the Lord concerning, because I'm going to be real. I ain't reached there yet. You know, we speak. It's okay. Uh, he's we faithful. Be, we be wrestling. It's time. Just be wrestling. Yes, the Lord is kind and so deep. one of the things that I've been wrestling with the Lord with is making faith, making his agenda the only place my loyalty lies. Mm. Because That's if good. my priority is always his agenda, I will always be in right standing. Mm. But that's hard mm. because sometimes his agenda means that the person that you love who is near and dear to you is not the priority right now. Right. Mm. right. Even your spouse. Yeah. Sometimes it may mean like, okay, boo, um, I need your permission, but I, I need to go on a fast because he is my priority. And I think that when we consider where our loyalty should lie, I think the safest place to place it mm. is on God's agenda. Mm. Because if I say that whatever it is that God desires to do in and through my life truly impacts every single area of my life, then God, him being sovereign, will know what's required for every single area of my life. And that would be on his agenda because I call it the, the youth ministry post of scripture because according to Jeremiah 29 and 11, he knows the, the plans and the thoughts that he has toward me. And those plans and those thoughts are always good. They're not of harm, they're not of evil. Another version says that they are for success and not for suffering. So it means that all of his thoughts concerning me are for good. So if I find myself in a situation where a person is questioning my loyalty, then my self-examination begins, okay, wait a minute. When it comes to God's agenda, was I loyal? And if you come to me and say, I was disloyal to you, and I say to you, but when I look at the situation, I was loyal to God's agenda, we can have a little buckhead situation mm. because you may be expecting an apology from me. Mm. I really have no apology for you. So so it's it's possible what you not what you're saying, but it's possible You could see Jesus apologizing for being who he was. Mm. And but I think I, I understand we, what you're saying. You, we we do this. Okay, I was reading this. This is a scripture that I've been meditating on so you can understand the place that, that, that God has been trying to put me in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be real. Y'all are in there. So if y'all see me being stupid and selfish, y'all don't come for me. All right? But I was reading Philippians 2. And you know how we like to use, <laughs> we like to use the scripture, but let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. We got to read the whole thing. We got to read the whole thing. You can't just read verse 5 and verse 6 and then leave it there. You got to read verse 7. Mm -hmm. Because you read verse 5 and it says, Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. That's usually where we stop. Mm -hmm. But verse 7 says, But made himself of no reputation. No. And took you. upon him the form of a servant and was made in the like likeness of man. In other words... Jesus was not concerned with what y'all had to say about him because he made himself of no reputation. Your name don't matter. Mm -hmm. I don't care if people call you stupid. Your name does not matter. The only name that's on the line is God's. That's the only name that's on the line. So therefore, my loyalty lies to him. If you can't get with that, then perhaps... There should not even be an exchange of loyalty between you and I. And that, and what I was going to say is that was 
that was what I was touching on earlier um, in regards to beliefs. And then this person knowing you. Mm. So take, for example, and many persons have had this. Not many, but those who are close to me would know. If you call me to go somewhere on a Thursday evening, I cannot be there. For people who know me. If you don't, if you don't know what that means to me, then it don't matter. If, 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 if it's with him, I, chances are, I, I, I will not be there. Very, very, very slim chance. Depending, it got to be really extreme. And I may just, just come a little later. But that's, that's, that's my sacrifice. That's my dedication. Um, if you say, I need you to do my makeup at 5 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, I can't be there. <clears throat> you know where I could be. You understand? So I feel like it's according to when, when, when we come into contact with these persons, no matter the kind of relationship, once they see your life or understand who you are, certain conversations we won't have. Certain difficult, y'all understand me? Mm -hmm. Certain difficulties we won't have because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call Marisha um, at nine o'clock and say, okay, I don't know, she has something serious to do. Or I knew, or I know more about her week. You, you understand what I'm saying? I'm considerate. You mean consideration for others, knowing what their priorities are. But my loyalty to you should never contradict my, my commitment to God. And everyone's commitment to God is looks different. different. But yeah. that's the thing. People will make you feel bad for, or try and make you feel bad, let me say, um, for your commitment to God. Because I have, I've had people say things like, you always say, oh, you could miss one. Which is true. But no. Because, <laughs> sorry, that's the shopping. No, no you way. Good. You good, you good. But no, because if, if it were you, no, scratch that. You ain't missing work. You're not missing. You're not gonna call in. Well, I know I can't I speak. Just gonna say I, can. I can't speak. I can't speak for those people. I'm gonna call in. But we got some. We have some people. You will not call in. I'm calling for my wedding. Just I'm because calling. something. <laughs> I, I can't do it. Um, I'm gonna call in, boo. Your boss. <laughs> right, on, but you know, based on based on knowing the kind of persons you're dealing with, certain things you won't do. What is that? I think. I think that one of the beautiful things, and we need to get to some of these comments. Um, I think that one of the beautiful things about life and getting to know people is that situations and circumstances expose mm -hmm. different levels of an, of an individual that you would have never seen before if the situation or circumstance didn't occur. And I think a lot of times we look at these moments and these times when they happen as negative and we don't see them as positive. Mm -hmm. Like if Cara and I have a disagreement because Cara expected me to do something and I didn't do it. My, my act, whatever it is that I did not do, it actually revealed a part of who I was to Cara. Mm. But because Cara was so busy in her feelings, taking offense, mm. she missed the lesson. Mm. She missed what it was that could be learned about me mm. because all she was concerned about was I asked Marisa to do the same and she didn't do it. And I always just do for her. And I always, da, 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 da. you know, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that, I don't know, it's like, it's, I think, I still think it boils back to expectation. I think it boils back down to expectation. You need to question whether or not your expectation is legal or illegal. Because if I did not give you my word, if I did not say, I'm going to do this, if we didn't come to an agreement, mm -hmm. your expectation is illegal. And even if I come to an agreement, the level of relationship that you and I have will determine whether or not you extend grace to me when I tell you after I say I'm going to do something that I can't do it anymore. But that's the thing. We, we are not grown. That requires maturity. And I've seen and encountered. I mean, I'm just being real or just saying the truth. People are ragging me for something like that. I've experienced it. And I don't think that it makes me, and y'all can help me, I don't think that it makes me less of a loyal person, but I feel like we don't, we're not, we're not mature, man. Especially women, like if, if, if I, okay, I tell Kara, I am going to be here, right? No, scratch that. I have a friend, right? 
she is pregnant. Mm -hmm. And her baby shower is on the same day that I have another event. Right? Mm -hmm. And I said to her, well, from the jump, she knew that, okay, Trina is going to be there. And I said to her, okay, um, you start at three, this event for like five. I don't know if they're going to, or six, however, I don't know if they're going to call me to come in earlier. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'll be to you ahead of time. I actually did this. Right? This actually is a real situation. What I had girl? somewhere to sing the day of Joy A's baby shower. Oh. <laughs> right? So I, I, the way her baby shower was set up, if you wasn't there by a certain time, you wasn't getting in the gate. Mm, you wasn't much, getting in. Pretty much true. That was a rough day. And so I told her, I say, I know this is going to be a lot for you, I say, but I just got to sing to this wedding. I say, I will have my clothes in the car. I changed my clothes in the car. And then I called her and I was like, hey, I out there. And she's like, okay, well, I need you to do this. I need you to go around. I need you to drive back around. And then you to come back. And da, 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 da. Because there were other people who was late who was not allowed to get in. But I was allowed to get in because I made it known prior to, like, listen, I understand that this is when your baby shower is. But well, unfortunately, this is, this is what's going on I don't say yes to this wedding. I don't take these people money and I don't spend it. So. <laughs> yeah, no refund. <laughs> I can't get up no refund. No refund. So, I mean, but in that moment, Joy Nay could have been like, I can't believe him. We should da, 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 da. Or that's, that's the thing. That, see, I wanted to finish what I was saying. I'm sorry. Um, so when I said this to her, because mm -hmm. that's what you started to touch. Mm -hmm. When I said this to her, she said, oh, okay, no problem. But I know if I don't make it to her, it it isn't, or I, I was there for Joy Nay baby shower ahead of time, the least she could have done was boom, 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 boom. But we, when persons, let, let's say don't show up, as, a, as an example, when, don't laugh, when <laughs> persons Sorry, don't show up, we, 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 we level that with um, their loyalty to us. We, we think the worst before thinking something positive. Something so the person, mm. the person mine will automatically go to, or you think she couldn't, da, 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 but you don't know this person got a flat tire. Or you don't know that this person, um, I don't know, whatever, cow jump over the moon, whatever, doesn't matter, whatever it is, we automatically think something in the worst case scenario, I, especially if there's someone that you have great loyalty to. So if you have someone, if you greatly loyal to someone and don't know them, that's the problem. I think, for me, it's not the not showing up. That's not what it's. That's not what is. I guess irritate me. What irritates me is when you don't show up and don't and say. You don't say nothing, babe. Like that's what is bothering me. I. I mean. I mean. I feel two ways about it because because it you, depends. You're a poor communicator. No, it depends though. Because if okay, let's say you didn't show up to the baby shower, I would say something in my head like, man. I guess it's a wedding. The bride was late. The bride was late. You know what I mean? But and, she was. Right? But I know maybe sometime the following day, you would say, boy, Joe, I something. Tried. You, know, you know what I mean? So I, I wouldn't automatically right. think the so worst. So let's say the following day come, and I, and I pick nothing. up the phone and call you and talk to you like everything cool, normal. I don't explain nothing. nothing. I, don't I don't say nothing. I just keep going along with life like I ain't just miss your old baby shower. I have a scenario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want free your heart. I have I, a scenario. And after you finish this, y'all, we have to get to these comments. It's a lot. Yeah, but I, and I have a scenario. I can say I. I have in a concert. Well, Lord Jesus. Right? Okay. Three months before the concert, mm. I reach out to particular people. I would mm. like for you to be a part of this. Um, I... This is what I need from you. Are you able to whatever? Let me know what it is, what's not. Yeah. Three months out. Two weeks before the concert, I get a call from someone. Um, and this person's supposed to be doing this mm -hmm. for your concert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um Ooh, yeah. I see them on fly to go away with. So and so, oh, child, child. I say, watch me Ooh. with my big stupid self. No, something got to be wrong with that. 
they go on and they go on and put Fran on the fly and he ain't got permission. Right. Doom, 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 doom. What ended up happening is I, I got confirmation that that was true. That this, was in sorry, this person is your friend or this person is just yes, your person? Yes. That was my friend. This was in twenty twenty one, it's twenty twenty three. I have never nothing was ever said. Just there have been there have been, hey girl, how you doing? Messages. And you see me, hey honey, all of that. Powerful. You and it wasn't I didn't ask you to come and sing a song. I could always you understand? I'll get through it. It was an instrumental role. And oh, okay. the second an opportunity to travel away with someone okay. came, <laughs> and this would be talking about earlier, Marisha, mm -hmm. or, or I think you said it, your name, mm -hmm. um, or someone you, someone, I guess you think they're, they're, the they're a bigger artist than me. Right. They, you know what I mean? Right. Um, you didn't even give me, I didn't even expect an apology. I just expected something. Lord, okay. Lord, and nothing Lord, came. Well, Lord. that's powerful. I had a similar situation. So let me tell you. I mean, I guess. My we all know about this. Lord. I had a situation where Marisha invited me to do something. And then something else came up. And I didn't realize that I agreed to the same date. Right? Mm -hmm. So what I did was, I said, well, Marisha, this is what happened. And this is what I think in my head. What do you think I should do? I want y'all to look at me for this. I need, I need y'all full attention. Y'all with me? I said, Marisha, Marisha, you remember this conversation? Of course I do. Right? And I say, Carl, what happened? It's really the mode. Full attention. Right, okay. <laughs> right? Carl, like, bad turn. Would you ready? Right, because she, like, she fits it in. Right? And I asked, um, I said, Marisha, what do you think I should do? Because it was very difficult. And um, I wouldn't say I deem a person higher than Marisha. Um, maybe it was something that God allowed. Let's, let's call it that, right? <coughs> this is for the sake of conversation, right? But I communicated with Marisha. Now, I know Marisha holding it against me. You holding it against me? You wouldn't know. Okay. Well, see, that, see you make that statement and it sounds like you're holding it against no, me. No, you, you would have known. Either way. If I was holding it against you, it would have come back up like in every other conversation we had. But I was holding it against you. That's the thing. I feel like even, let's say, in another scenario, had I not communicated, right. well, this is where I'm at. It's not that I value this person higher than you, but I feel this would be something that's good for me. Back to what you said about, oh. about your friend, oh. mommy, who have the shop, oh. la, 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 la. And I need you to be there. I didn't just say, you know, something, I'm going to do this and I'm not going to. I even made some compromises like, okay, if this still going on, I could probably still dash to and fro. I feel like um, when we, oh, two things. When we don't communicate, it leaves that awkwardness. The narrative open. It leaves the narrative right. open. You can and assume anything. You could assume anything. You can create any kind of story in your head. Right. But on the flip side, when you are honest and when you do say, okay, this is boom, 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 boom. Now, Marisha's point to me was, I ain't gonna lie, Joe. I could go with who say first. And my point to her was like, okay, I understand that, but that's not the way I view things. But I didn't, in the in the on the flip side, I didn't want to make her feel bad, if that makes sense. Y'all understand me? Y'all ain't talking back. I think I know. No, I'm listening, but I think you, I know what you're talking you about. You understand? So I feel like it goes according to the person and the relationship, which is why earlier I said, I feel like if I have always been there or you have always been there, then a certain grace will be extended. You, you understand? So if Marisha were to do something or say that to me, and I wouldn't be like, oh, because, you know, I don't believe in boom, 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 or you know, I don't operate like boom, 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 boom. But because I know, the Bible says, do people according to your knowledge of them. I knew, listen, this is important, but we need to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. And the, the lines become very blurred when it comes to loyalty. When you when don't we talk. don't have that conversation. Speak, but on the flip yeah. side, even when I have that, that conversation, I don't need you to be immature with me. I need you to tell me, okay, this is what bothered me. This is what I thought you should have done. And at the end of the day, you have to maybe agree to disagree. 
but still have that mutual respect because I'm going to be mad if Marisha makes a decision or I shouldn't be upset if she makes a decision or vice versa. You all understand what I'm saying? And you got to talk back to me. I think that the the reality of what you're saying also has impact on, like you said, the person's, the individual's core beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. So right. to you, is that that same um, scenario that you brought up when you asked me what would I do? Mm -hmm. And I told you I would go with the first thing mm -hmm. because, like I said earlier in the conversation, while I know that I have a loyalty to Marisha and I have a loyalty to my friends, I have to think about when my name is called in yeah. a room, what are people's, yes. how are people going to yes. respond? Because at the beginning and at the end of the day, I need to ensure that God could use my name. Right. So that is always my posture. My posture is to ensure that my name is always good. But is it, is it, is, is the name being good on condition of who has more value? The name being Hold good. On, no, no, don't, go, don't, don't, I won't lose the thought. Because let's say the name being good. Let's say me, for example. I try not to lose the thought. Sorry. Name being good was with you. And then name being good was with, with the other people. You understand? You're talking about the same scenario. Yes. Right? So would it, would it, where would it matter most? Let me interject. If you all, you all want to say I, name, that's the question. I made the commitment. I also made the same commitment yes. there too. When I realized that it was a conflict mm -hmm. with the date, mm -hmm. for me, it was it was coupled with two things. I said yes to this first, for me. And um, also, I care about how I would make my friend mm -hmm. feel. Yeah. That, that's okay. how, you see, mm -hmm. so um, it's not saying, like we always say on the show, Everyone deals with things differently. differently. Think, Absolutely. Think differently. It does not mean, <clears throat> I don't think it means that someone is less, you know what I mean, towards you. Or there was no it's comparison. Just the way, it's just the way people think. And that's a good thing for this topic because a lot of times we really just beat in people with the stick of someone who probably was loyal to us before. And we expect yeah. that from everybody. We expect everyone to don't respond work like that. to us the way we want them to respond to us. And it doesn't work and like it, that. It doesn't work and like that. And we have to people free people. We have to free people to make their decisions and make their choices. And when someone makes their choice, I believe your love for them should superintend how their choice makes you feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Point blank, period. It shouldn't change how you deal with them. If you say you really love this person. That's crazy. If you say you Sorry, really I was, care, I was thinking about something. if you say you really care about this person, if you say this person matters to you, then their decision is their decision. And it is what it is. Well, for me, in my mind, and I, I guess I have a lot more growing to do. Um, I go back to your, your first scenario, one of your other scenarios, with the girl going off to college. Yeah, but the mommy and, and stuff like that, yeah. You know, um, mom already experienced life. Mom already must have done gone to college and do whatever she had to do or if she decided to go to college or not. And this is an opportunity for this young lady to advance. You understand? With the with, with the car scenario now. You understand what I mean, Marisha? Mm -hmm. So that's the way I viewed it. So that that's my stance on that. That's it. And I just, I'm mad. And I guess y'all ain't mad. I have, I said before Kara talking, I have to get to these comments, so let's do this. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay, here we go. Um, Stefan said, all, th <laughs> all three of these ladies look bomb last night, just bomb, head to toe. Thanks for coming out, ladies. Thank Stephen. you. You're welcome. Why was that so? I would say thank, thank, you. Uh, thank you. Because I want to I read. Too. Dang. <laughs> they like. They like help eat your harvest, but don't want to help you on the farm planting your seed. Sun to what? My Lord, my Lord. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, all. Um, I know. Oh, Jesus. I know. Hi, Nigella. Excuse me. Willissa says, I, I think I pronounced it that right. Willissa. Willissa, yes. I like how Joyne is touching on conditional loyalty. Opportunists are known for this. Absolutely. For mm -hmm. sure, for sure. 
Um, oh, okay. Don't let it come then. All right. <laughs> Nigella says, good afternoon, Miss Multi Award winner. Congratulations. It's really the Multi for me. The Dove Award is coming. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, okay. Absolutely. And Dalton say, you go, you getting a Grammy. You say Grammy Award winner today. Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> um, join eight. Oh, so, say join eight. Chevette says, I feel the same way, join eight. Like, is it me? That sound just like join eight. So, yeah. Is it me? Is, is it me? Is it me? Am I, I the drama? Am I? It's giving drama. <laughs> uh, just say it. It's giving drama. Then when you tell them about it, they tell you choose to do it. They tell you you choose to do it. I know what you're talking I about, Javette, right. but that sound I deep. Tulsi said, that's deep joining. <laughs> Tanisha say, heavy on that, Cara. Um, um, all of this, because we, we need, need to keep, keep up, up right? honestly. Yeah. Um, just recently broke out of no. that mindset a few months ago. My loyalty caused me nearly lose all my brain cells. Never, Never again. Never again. Wow. Patient said, I most definitely found myself there. A narcissistic mom slash person would do that. Crystal says, loyalty should never have us in worst case scenarios when it comes to our life and progression. Loyalty should never make you look silly. On the contrary. Oh, child. Um, hey, girlies. I think the minute we give the expectations of people... And put people exactly where they belong. Compartments, we will be free of all denials of false loyalty. Tazi says, I understand, Marisha. I just had this conversation with a girlfriend a few minutes ago. It is hard to stick and stay in a Saul David situation. Very hard. Very, very hard. Krista says, that's why we need to look after ourselves at the end of the day, Cara. People who normally feel the blow from being loyal are people who put others above themselves. From I got a pop to Advil. <laughs> <laughs> Tanisha says, "Listen for real. From you have me. From give you me. give me a headache. That's, that's it." That's it. Jania says, "Yes, the branches fall off, but trees that are rooted in the ground may shake off, but never comes out of the ground. So if you are loyal for real, you don't change because of Ooh. seasons or misunderstandings. Talk about it. I played both of." those sides with one person very heavy to deal with i just shake my head and say whatever god need me to learn or do but i just need the strength father sound like joe truth be told you get tired of always being the bigger i, I just i, I, I don't forget mm -hmm. why did you do that i i don't god have a problem Look, mauricio <laughs> <laughs> truth be told you get tired of always being the bigger person then because you have the Holy Spirit, you can't help, help yep. but be the bigger person. Yep. Thank yep. you very much. Oh, I need to get the rest of this comment. Um, I don't know where you made this comment. La, I don't know if the right, I'm pronouncing this name right. Is it the tech or the teach? Or the... Miss Simonette. Miss can you tell us where you're watching? Are you watching... On my page, on Joyne's page, on Kara's page, on Glory page. Let me know so we can get the rest of your comment. Um, because it's cut off at a certain line. Um, some people use traits of narcissism and make the other party to feel how their personal expectations of loyalty should look like for their own pleasure, benefits, or expectations. You shouldn't have to manipulate, deceive, or control someone to be loyal. Loyalty is not control. Mm. Loyalty is connected to honor. Mm and love, especially depending on the person or organization. Um, loyalty is a part of a person's character. That's why when we are exposed to disloyalty, wow. it tends to hurt us. I want to read I the, rest of the, the rest of the comment. Um, but I don't know. It ain't working the way it needs to right now. Um, she also said... Sorry, Jania says, Kari, yes, it's hard when you can't be that person you was before God. <laughs> I know, right? God save us. It's hard, but God's grace is so, so good. So Thank Thank oh, Lord, Darcy, say your you. facial expressions, Kari. Sorry, Darcy. Oh, Lord. Um, Francita said, I love that Philippians analogy. Marisha, you're so right. No, trust me, he's dealing with it with me. And I ain't gonna lie, it is not fun. It's not fun. It never is. Crystal, you are right, Marisha. Situations expose people positive or negative. It doesn't matter how much you like a person. That's just the reality. Um, 
She also says, that's why, like Johnny said, you have to be the human when approaching situations. And like Marisha mm -hmm. said, we have to know, oh, you have to be humane when approaching situations. And like Marisha said, we have to know who to apply which expectations to. I did not say that. I was stuck on apples. As <laughs> it was a black. I didn't see that one. You smart. And Joyne, baby shower was so far for them to lock me in the right. gate. Crystal, it was rough. Oh, Lord. It was rough. Like you say, Joyne, you have okay, now she she reported, she um, reposted it. Crystal said, Yes, me too. At least have the respect to say something to me. It's because people gravitate more to negative than positive. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Showing up to <laughs> showing up to apostolic church with pants oh, or out. you yeah. log out. No <laughs> man. The choice is in. <laughs> My God, we have to know when people don't when people don't mess with us like that too. I remember I invited someone to my birthday dinner a month in advance and they said, oh, they don't have the money. LOL, she might as well have say, I think I could be sick that day. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me tell you what my line is be. Oh, I don't care how far away or how close it is. If somebody invite me somewhere and I won't go, I say I have a funeral. Wow. Oh, I have a funeral. I don't have no free. No free weekends. You it's on a Wednesday. Yeah, you have that a, too. You have a funeral? Jeez. So You know somebody could die four months from now? Absolutely. I have a funeral. I can't make it. I can't make it. Highly thought after, you know. <laughs> I can't oh. make it. I have a funeral. I completely understand, Jonay. I just told someone the other day, me and Jonay, maybe we had one or two disagreements from we met. we met, and we always talked it out maturely. I think that creatives, that creates longevity in relationships. At the end of the day, no one will ever be perfect all the time. I think that everyone, I think everyone different because I wouldn't look at that from a I was here first scenario. But Kara, you were so right. We can't expect, expect people to make decisions based on how we, we would. would. Mm -hmm. um, Telsey says, we must also be mature and accepting that someone's loyalty to you is not your view of what their loyalty to you should be. Telsey, you preach it. Thou art a woman of God. Preach, preach, yes. Thou art a woman of God. I think that that was good. I think that it, for me, it just boils down to be like this may sound really cheesy or cliche, Christian, but this this really how we can know if you're a Christian by your love for you. Yeah. And I feel like that's what it boils down to. Like, um, this is where these two ladies would disagree with me again because. I, I, I've expressed before on this show that for me, forgiveness, forgiveness means I don't change the level of access that you had to me before. I don't change the level of connection. I don't change none of that. Forgiveness means, if we go according to what forgiveness means when God forgives us, forgiveness means I, I literally open myself up for you to do the exact same thing that you did to me before again, because that's what Jesus does. When he forgives us, he doesn't tell us we have to go back at the beginning of the start of the race. And, I love that for you, and we have to try to right, get though. back to the place I'm that right, we are I'm at right. now. Yes, she is. She is right. When, when God forgives us, he allows, he allows us to pick up right where we left off. And he opens himself for mm -hmm. us to do the same thing again. That's what true forgiveness is. And I know a lot of people are not going to agree with me. So tell me something. But that's what forgiveness is. So you if you say, if you say, if you say you're going to be Christ-like, if you say you're going to be a Christian, you have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer you who live. It's Christ who lives in you. You no longer have a reputation. You have no reputation to uphold. No, but even You have he, no name to protect. But he and didn't you have, have no feelings. But he didn't have a free casting call for disciples. He chose who he had around him. There's a, there has to be, I don't think, okay. Multitude, 12, y yeah, three. Yeah, but yeah, people, people could approach him, but not everyone had access to him. Full access. I mean, as That's far God as. That's God in the flesh, though. As far as, okay, we're talking about Jesus the Christ, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, yeah, like you, you already gave the disclaimer that we. I we don't agree. I forgive you in that. And y'all help me out here. I forgive you in that I'm not carrying what you did. I'm not carrying what I did in, right. in retaliation and what's mm -hmm. not. And um, it doesn't <laughs> change the view that I have. But where I am, 
that level of hurt, I'm not ready to willingly put myself there. I'm not ready to willingly put myself there in the name of strengthening myself. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Name of myself no, 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 no. But like I like I don't like I said question, in the past. No. No I'll reiterate. Question. I'll reiterate. No, don't reiterate. Yeah, I have a question. So why do you give um if you forgive, you say when you forgive, da 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 da, da like Christ, blah blah blah, right? Why do friends or people in your life have levels then? Is that the same thing? If I'm honest with you. Or, no, or nobody has a boundary. Because obviously for that person to be in that in a, on a level, they had to have shown themselves to be a particular way or shown themselves to only could handle so much or done something to be in a particular category because when we talk about this before well mm -hmm. you know friends have you know in a court out of court mm. <laughs> all these of all these <laughs> you know as it pertains to yeah so we got them yard case, friends right so the porch friends what it, what what the two mean the same thing they're not the same thing in terms of access um because if we go along again with the christian model that like you enter into his gates with thanksgiving, but when you want to get into the inner courts, you have to do other things in order to get into the inner courts so, to get access. Okay, so I'm glad you said that. So but you forgiveness applies to the inner court, the outer court, the outside gate, the porch. Right. It applies to everyone. There is no, the murderer or the liar don't have different level of forgiveness. But we was just, that was last week or week before last, talking about being careful of the wounds that you allow people to keep opening. Right. Absolutely. It's, 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 for me, it's the same thing. Yeah, and, and then I... Sorry, like you Carol. say, well, you talk about your safety. My mental health is more important than your need to prove whatever you have to prove in my life. Okay? I so agree. You have my chest. Yeah, so I, I cannot. I am um, admonished, and I agree with letting that go. Whatever it is, not going to bed with that, not waking up with that. And even that is hard. But to say, I must continue to connect to you in a way that's going to eventually kill me. I can't, I can't do that. Not right now. I'm there. So let's take, for example, you remember the, the young lady? I think this is this year or either late last year. It had to have been this year. No, last season. We talked about it. Lady who went away with her friends. Mm -hmm, and she got right? killed. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately for her, her loyalty got her killed. Absolutely. She maybe say she took the same approach that you talk about forgiveness. And although her friends say, talk about about her, say whatever about her, and show whatever to her, she say, you know something, I still can forgive you, and I still can travel with you. What do we say then? I'm, I'm, I, I'm, because I, I'm trying to understand. I'm not trying to do it. Just trying to understand. When, what, what, what draws the line? I can, I can forgive you, and I can let you in my space. Let's say for conversation's sake, mm -hmm. let you in my space, mm -hmm. and then you turn around and kill me. That I, I'm, if I'm under the assumption that that young lady assumed that she was in no danger, because she forgave, because she said, you know something, I, 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 I choose to see the better in this friend or the better in this person or the better in this da 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 and the better in this da 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 and it got her killed being loyal to a group of people that set up her demise so what then do we say to these things when does it become trying too hard because from what i've seen it was obvious in the video they was an honor run they were plotting against her in the video absolutely they were plotting against you her. understand so, what i'm saying yeah. though because like i do Man, don't try so hard to prove that you are loyal. Y'all are y'all are literally like setting this thing up for me because you asking me what do I do? I don't forgive. I am not a forgiving person because I have a motive for me. I forgive because they I trying to be more like God. Well, that is for you. That's not for me. Yeah, I mean, if I forgive, if if you if you forgive so, me, it means that God will give you forgive you, give you that same grace. Yeah. Okay, but 
I mean, like, it may not be, okay, this is what I'm going to do this because I need God too. But at the end of the day, it still boils in my no, mind. No, no, you don't understand what I'm saying. Say it's it. it's not for me. I'm not doing it because, like Kara said, like Kara said, I'm not doing it to the end that when we watch the video, when we analyze the situation, we realize that she allowed them to mooch off of her because she wanted in. She wanted acceptance. She wanted to be the person who they was like, oh, you have everything, you have it all, blah, 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 blah. We, we deduce that based upon listening to what was okay. being right. You uh -huh. understand what uh -huh. I'm saying? Uh -huh. So if we were to use that situation, her allowance of what they did to her was for her self-aggrandizement. That's not the posture that I take when it comes to forgiveness. But you say let them in. Wouldn't that be letting them in? What do you mean? I'm not talking. I'm not. I'm not talking about forgiveness where it leads to self-aggrandizement. That's okay. what I mean. That's okay. the difference. Okay. I'm doing it because the reality of the matter is whether or not we want to admit it. The truth is, when you place a boundary between you and that person after forgiveness, you have not fully forgiven them. Because in order for you to place a boundary, you're still holding on to an element of what they did to you. That's the truth. I understand. You. So you saying be a conk, queen. I'm saying be like Christ. I, I I think okay. So I've I've listened to over the past few months. Well, up last year leading into when we started the season, I listened to y'all. You know, and here's what what I deduce that that's the right word. Because mm -hmm. I hear you say it. So yes. I, I say it because it's Absolutely. property. That's tricky. But Pastor Joe, here's what I deduce. A. <laughs> it's um, a. From okay. you. You are who you are. And it's not always. You just are who you are. You are unapologetic. And you are not afraid to admit. I could be wrong. But right mm. now, this way I'm this way I'm at. And that's how I feel. Marisha. I've listened to you, and you have a wealth of knowledge, but you also have a wealth of experience, which tells me where you are as far as forgiveness. You weren't born that way. No. That came through really trial you, and okay. tribulation. You were saved before me. Absolutely. You understand? So there's some levels and some things you have before you get there. You don't just get there. No. Nope. You do not just get there. And I applaud you for that. What I'm saying is, <laughs> as for me... On my, my house, we need time. Let me tell y'all something. It's, Let me tell y'all something because I want to get the rest of these comments in while the, while we're still in this conversation. But I will be I will be completely transparent with you. When you can stand face to face with the person that raped you and tell you you forgive them, you could forgive anybody. As a woman, I can't speak for a man. I could speak for a woman. When you could stand face to face to the person who raped you and you tell them you forgive them, you could forgive anything. Now, keep in mind, in my situation, this wasn't just the person that raped me. This is also the person that killed my aunt. So this was a double whammy. This was my favorite aunt. The one that I look like the most, the one who I, I, I mean, I loved her dearly. She was my person. My parents used to beat me as a child for the high phone bill because that's when it used to cost plenty to call the family island and she lived in Freeport. And I used to get beaten for calling my auntie so much. That was my, my dear, dear aunt. And when I, when I came face to face with the situation where I had to face the person and it came down to, if you don't forgive this person, you won't be able to move on with your life. That was literally the the situation that I was that was placed in front of me. You wasn't going to be able to move on. You wasn't going to be able to let this go until you forgave this person. And I had to do it. And I think that's why I've come to the place in my life where like, okay, whatever. <laughs> and I, I mean that from the most loving place. You want to lie on my name? You want to talk bad about me? I will still sit down and have a conversation with you. And I will still share portions of my life with you. And I don't care if you talk to somebody else about it, because first of all, I, I have no reputation to uphold. Mm. 
I have nothing to protect. I have, I, there is no element of me that belongs to me. This is not about me. The life that I live is not about Marisha. I, I don't have anything to protect. So if you want to call me an idiot, please do so. And please do it to my face. I would prefer. <laughs> that's my preference. So at least I can know where we stand. <laughs> but that's just where I am at. That's just where I am at. And I, I, I was intentional with not even discussing how I would conclude this conversation with you guys because I know you both is going to be like this girl crazy. But at the, end of, at the beginning and at the end of the day, your loyalty killing you may be a bad thing, but if it kills me, I cool. If my loyalty to God kills me, kills <laughs> me, okay, I'm good. And that's the only place my loyalty lies. Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned this person. Does that mean that you would let them in your space, in your room? I have let them in my house again. In your room? Not in my room, but I let them in my house again. Okay. That's all I have. Mm -hmm. And I've interacted with them on several occasions since. The interaction isn't an issue for me. We could talk. We could be cool. Um, I had a situation recently, and this person just was like, you know, I want to try, blah, blah, blah. And I asked one of my friends, this one, and I say, <laughs> I see this person really trying to boom, boom, boom. I, sorry, I was, I was talking like that, right? I see this person really trying to extend themselves, and I'm not interested. I, I literally said this this morning, and it wasn't like a not interested, like um, I don't want to talk or I can't remain friendly or kind. It's just like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But what's the reason? Because I feel like chances are you probably can do it again. And what's wrong with that? I, um, not this one. I, I, I have to say, I have to say. My chest feel heavy. Um, no, seriously, Marisha, when we talk about being molested, mm -hmm. um, being raped, mm -hmm. being sodomized, I, I agree that there may come a time where they have to say, or you have to say, I forgive you. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what differs for me. I have a child. And that letting you in my space, where my child was, that can't happen. There has to be um, a boundary. Yes, my loyalty is to God, but like we already say, there are levels to this. So it's one thing when I open myself up to be heard again. Right. But when there's someone understand. attached to me, my, I have to move differently. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I, this conversation isn't black and white. No, it's yeah. not. It's not. It's not black and white. And I also don't know how you feel. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I cannot relate. Um, and when I can, <laughs> we'll have the discussion. But I can't relate. But I am. Um, I, I let me say, as your sister in Christ and as your friend, I am so happy for you that you you are there. You are at that place. That because that's something so you. that's something that is unheard of. You understand? Because not for a lot of and Christians at that is a um, you need to dead type of situation. <laughs> no, seriously, Suffer which, you need you need to, to be dead. Mm. So for you to be there, it really is commendable. I'll tell you one thing, and it's this is it's difficult for us to do a lot of times because we're so caught up in our hurt. But what it's a dangerous prayer to pray. Um, ask God to allow you to see other people the way He sees them. It's a very dangerous prayer to pray. I'm sure it is. Because when you start seeing people through God's eyes, it's hard to be mad. It's hard to be mad. It's hard to be hurt. It's hard to hold on to your pain or whatever. Because when God starts to reveal his perspective, his view of that individual, most times when I have done it, it pushes me into prayer for that person. And when you pray for somebody, you can't help but love them. That's just what it is. When you pray for someone, you can't help but love them. The process that I went through was I gone with my crazy self and I prayed the prayer because I, I couldn't live with myself. I couldn't, mm -hmm. I couldn't think straight. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was going crazy. 
And so I was like, God, I, God, I need more understanding. And I was like, God, help me to see. Help me to see this person the way that you see them. And when he opened up his view of the individual and I saw the pain that they experienced, I saw the abuse that they endured through the, through the lens of what God yeah, revealed to me. I, I broke down and began to pray for him mm -hmm. because I was exposed to what led him to do the things that he did. And listen to me, y'all ain't the only people who's look at me and be like, this girl crazy, she dumb. Like, I've had many conversations that's with the people that's, around me. That's, that's your portion, woman of God. And I tell them, you may say it's work. You may say, or oh, I can make the, pro the wrong assumption. You may say it's incorrect deductive reasoning, whatever. The reality of the matter is, most times when someone offends me, after I go through my little emotional, I hurt, this bother me, blah, 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 blah. The next place I rest is, I wonder what have, what going on with them. What had them do this thing that they did? There's a why behind the what. And there is a why. Always. Always. There's always a why. Um, Crystal, <laughs> Crystal says, yeah, you're right, Marisha. I just agree with you there. I knew you would, Crystal. Um, Carol, look at that, Marisha, like, now nah, you're talking foolishness now. <laughs> now nah, you're talking foolishness now. I agree, Carol. Marisha, really want you to turn the next cheek for a next slap for true. Pray my strength. I mean, yes, Joy Nate, Jesus had boundaries. Marisha, everyone has an analogy of what love is. And also the scripture says the spirit doesn't strive with man always. <laughs> boy, like you was that too, boy. And even Jesus had a bit of boundaries because... <laughs> He three, he only took three with him. And he Ooh. also said, John, I love. First of all, John, tell y'all that Jesus say. So you John, believe, I you love. Believe you don't believe John? John say everything else. We, we believe him for that. John but say, John him. say he was the one. Y'all could care. Y'all see anybody else um, call John the disciple that Jesus loved? The only time you see that I language. Don't know John and Jesus so, so, talk. so. So we should question Revelation now because John just out here right. lying in these streets. John is speaking from his perspective. Sure. What did he say, Jesus? Say, Jesus. The disciple whom Jesus, you wouldn't call yeah. yourself the, 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 the woman whom God loved? No? You wouldn't call yourself that? Yeah, I would. See, you don't we, know when we read it. What man and God talk about. But hold on. When we read it. Whole conversation uh, no, Jesus. but I want to make this point here. When we read things, we always read them in comparison. Don't read it in comparison. Read it by itself. John is saying, Jesus loved me. This I know. Because the Bible doesn't. So. <laughs> <laughs> John was saying, I know he loved me. Tablet. He wasn't saying, I know he loved me better than any other other, other disciple. John, John. John was saying, John, if you're listening, I know. We know the He loved love me. You we need you to clear this up. I know he loved me. That's all he was saying. John, um, Marisha say you lied. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal say, I can tell you now, I forgive you, but you going from inside to the front yard on the outside of the gate. Let me choose a barge. Uh, Tati said, all of his disciples didn't have the same access to go everywhere and experience things with him, but they failed in some, in some way. But love made him die for them all. Forgiveness. So to do. I Forgiveness understand. so to do. You know, like you're too to do. Why you too <laughs> oh. to do? Yeah. Okay, I, can okay. forgive. <laughs> I can forgive someone, but the Bible... Be says, careful. be careful, anxious, anxious for, nothing. for nothing, you know? How many times you going to feed the Judas in your life to keep hurting you once, bitten twice shy? See, ooh. I, 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 no, I Judas see is a skill Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, just ahead. leave it. A. Okay, all right, because I was about to say, Jesus let Judas kiss him. Know what he was going to do. Knowing exactly what he was going to do. Every Judas no, but not, not just that. Even before the be betrayal, so to speak, he had a money problem, but that's who Jesus allowed her to keep the money. money back. Oh, okay then. You know, we always get hurt because we don't know. Ah. Uh, or we play ignorant. We play ignorant. No, some, Expectations. No, no some, some things no really catch you by surprise, huh? What the Bible say? You can perish for a lack of knowledge now. Well. People say I'm cold, but baby, because I've already walked through so many betrayals, baby, 
I am now extremely cautious. And if you show me half what is? of a red flag, I put you in one compartment. I am not in any season near ready to let people play in my face or compromise my peace. I forgive you, but access denied to my personal space. Chelsea says that love covers a multitude of sins. <laughs> um, I want to make sure I'm pronouncing this right. Devanthia, I think that's what it is. Yeah. I ain't fully... Are you coming up? It ain't coming up. Is it up? Yeah, it's up. I ain't fully at the foot of the cross. I will forgive, but go that way still. Go that way still. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Shadia says big... Chelsea says yes. I don't know. She said yes, too. Um, Crystal says, I forgive you, but you will no longer be in my personal space. Um, Devanthia says, sometimes being a Christian, you got to be the conk slash bigger person, but not all the time. I feel being a conk, sometimes I got to be Peter 2.0. She will got off to do it all. Okay. Um, <laughs> Denisha says, our name is not on the line. It's really God's name on the line. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Tazi says, indeed. Y'all, I'm sorry that the comments are not coming up as quickly as I want them to. My computer's freezing. Crystal says, you're right, Kara. I refuse to let people attach themselves to me who can potentially hurt my children. And like I said, I don't know what that's like because I'm childless at the moment. When I get there, I will have this conversation and I will surely tell y'all if I make adjustments. I promise you. Um... Jania says, Marisha, I get that with the rape. I understand on different levels, but I also tell people, some people think of survival and some people think of... Um, I, I don't know. I thought OFC mean, of course. Can I keep it another comment here? Um, I get it, Marisha, more than you think, but when you have a child involved as a mother, you become like a lioness trying to protect her cub. I've heard that. Oh, yes. I have heard that. Um, hmm. That's my cousin Shanique. Hey, Shanique. Sometimes it is good to be dumb for Christ. Sometimes it does. It does work out in your favor most times. I agree with Marisha. All the time. <laughs> I, <say it>. most <sighs> I agree with Marisha. I'm not there yet. I hope to get some level of it because it's a struggle on my end as well. What did she say? Jania says, John is the only one who had more than one book. And he trusted him with his mother. I see what you're saying. So I, see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Well, I see what you're saying. Apologize. Apologize to my boy, Blade. Because I like how you do Girl, I don't study the Bible. We had this whole argument inside one of my classes. <laughs> in, my, in my New Testament class. I say, I say y'all around here looking at John like, like he ain't just telling y'all this is what I believe Jesus feel about me. John. That was where I stood John, when I we was having that argument in class. John. And I said to them, y'all just mad because Matthew, Mark, and Luke didn't think about to say Jesus loved me. John, we need you to clarify this. <laughs> we ain't gonna know unless John tell us. Oh, Jesus. Because everybody else tells the story. And this is the story where it comes up, right? The most. The story where, I, what I made reference to earlier, when Jesus is um, on the show and he cooks breakfast for them for no reason. This after the. Yeah, you know, reason. What's the reason? Go ahead, tell your story, woman of God. So he cooks breakfast for them, and then only John talks about. How the disciple whom Jesus loved, Jesus pull aside and have a conversation with him. Ain't no other disciple tell this story about Jesus pulling aside the disciple whom he loved. They didn't get it. They missed it. They missed it, eh? They missed it. Right. They missed it. Okay. Yeah. Unless, so you're trying to say John was like, Lord, I'm blasting you. You're trying to say John was like, when we, um, John, they was talking about <laughs> earlier, trying to attach yourself to the person who you think is the big. Oh, yeah, big dog. Yeah, wait, hey, big dog. You know, you know, Marisha Walker. She wait, loved me, she babe. Loved me, right? <laughs> that, that loved me. Wait, but if it's true, Joy Nay Gibson. If it's I know true, it, she loved me. Is babe. it wrong? If it's true, is it wrong? Hmm. If you love me, you love me. If you love me, you love me. Um, did, did you watch? There was a movie. Help me out mm -hmm. here, y'all. It was a Christian movie of. A, I think it was a guy that passed away in a car accident or something, mm -hmm. and he went to this place where um, it it was the home he had grown up in where mm -hmm. he was hurt or something, mm -hmm. but 
after he died, it was like a beautiful, it was fixed up and was not. And the lady who they had as the depiction of, I guess, God, how he was seeing God, she was telling everybody, I love you, especially Dipper. Hmm. And it's amazing how he's able to make everyone feel, feel like they are like loved, they are the especially only person in the world. different. So I don't get mad at people for saying I'm God's favorite. No. Because I am too. And that's perfectly fine. I have a declaration. And only he could do that. Only I, he could be loyal to all of us like that. I have a declaration that I declare every day an alarm that goes off in my phone and it says, I'm a fixture in God's mind. Mm. You can't move me. You could hold the door. You can't move me off his mind. That's just how I see myself. And if you feel like you are a fixture in his mind, too, his mind is so vast that there's space for all yes. 12 billion of us yes. to be on his mind all at the same time. Yeah. Um, we got to bring this conversation to a close because we time? are, it's 5.55. Um, but I, I'm i going to speak first and then y'all two could um, I, I fight for last. I just ready to read the divide. <laughs> yeah, Carl, you got this. Fight for last. Um, but I, I, I still rest. I rest where I rest. Where, um, where I, I spoke earlier and I said, um, if my loyalty is gonna, if my loyalty to God is gonna kill me, let it kill me. Um, and that is the place where my loyalty lies. My loyalty lies with God. And if I tell the truth, my loyalty to God kills me every day. Every day. Every day. At some point in time, I have to say no to Marisha and I have to die to me. And my desires, my flesh, my wants, my hang-ups, my, but God, you see, and God, I like, and God, but how, all of that has to die daily. Do I kill it every day? No. <laughs> no. I want to. I want to. And then there are times when I don't want to. But I I'm being intentional, and I keep saying I. I don't usually use this word a lot, but I'm using it now. I am trying to be more intentional to be more like Christ. And in doing that, that means that mm, I have to be willing to be crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So if my loyalty is going to kill me, okay, I'm dead. I might be contradicting um, something I said earlier, and and listen, we one thing I like about y'all, we ain't, we ain't scared to disagree with each other, no, unapologetically. But on the flip side to this, um, as I was listening to both you ladies talk, his loyalty to us did cost did his life. Him. Who? So hmm. that's a template, Marisha, and why I said <laughs> earlier. I applaud you for where you're at. Um, but his loyalty for us, it did kill him. And when we look at it from that perspective, we can, we can start to, I guess, find some semblance of wanting or trying to understand people. Like you said earlier, mm -hmm. there's always a why behind the what. Always. Always. There's always a why behind the what. And we have whys behind our, our what's. what's. Pastor Joe, you are the way you are. Not because you 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 come out in the hospital room like that, but you had experiences, <laughs> and they you shape you. Absolutely, we're still going through experiences, and, they and shape there's you. going to like you said, when you have a child, you will come back and say, "I've had to adjust the way I Absolutely. thought about this." You Absolutely. Understand? So, yeah, I only have me to protect right now. Yeah. So, um, I do agree with you, though, Marisha. That's the last thing I'll say. My loyalty to you. We have a problem when it contradicts my loyalty and my commitment to God. Mm -hmm. Because if God tell me, I need you to be up 3.30, most people get up to pray around 5. Mm -hmm. I need you to be up 3.30, and I need you to not lay in your bed. I need you to go in your closet and close the closet door, and I need you to pray. Whatever mm -hmm. comes to your mind, I need you to pray. Mm -hmm. So if I'm out, like I was out last night after the awards, I had to make sure... I was home 
in time to shower up, get all that stuff off my face. I don't wear jewelry because this is my instruction. Mm. So if you're telling me, man, we gonna ride around, we going on the beach, have bonfire. No, that is contradicting my loyalty to my God. And that's where and the we commitment have a problem. That I've made. Absolutely. So now I have to adjust some things with you because I know what my commitment to him is. Absolutely. Oh, why are you looking at me? Because you're looking at your watch like... No, because uh, you know the notifications just pop up. Oh, uh, okay. They were messaging. Okay, um, sorry. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry if that seemed rude. Um, I agree with Kara on this one. Um, it's just... <laughs> it's so many things that I could say, right? One, of course, love is God. La, la, la. Wait, wait, wait. Um, of course, um, that's, no, that's no compromise, right? Um, however, I feel like when it comes to relationships, like friendships in particular, I feel, and I mentioned it earlier, I think based on that person's character and that person's history, it determines what, I guess, each party can get away with, so to speak. Um, I feel that um, as women and in regards to friendship, we are not loyal to each other. I mentioned that it's on condition. I mentioned that this is something that I have experienced personally, and maybe it's something that I need to revisit the way I handle and the way I process um, persons around me. Um, you gonna tell me something, Elsie? You gonna tell me something? Oh, right. And um, you making me nervous because you turning. You got off, right? I sorry, cause I I, oh. I, I I trying to see like you just you just to say it in the mic, right? Um, I was trying not to, obviously. No, but that's fine, <laughs> right? Um, uh, this is this is something that I'm still walking through, and um, as it stands for right now, everyone have their little space, and wearing it loose means not having expectation. So if I know you to be this way, then I don't really expect or feel no kind of way when you are the way you are. And I think that's something that we all should take on. Um, in the meantime, between time, you be blessed. I that's, that's all I have to say. <laughs> no, that's all I have to say on that because, you know, loyalty is so tricky because, very, um, if my loyalty to Jesus Christ will cause my demise, not a problem, mm. but if me being loyal to you puts me or my family in jeopardy, it's it's a really big no for me. Um, I am not there yet, and I don't really think I fully desire to be there as yet, to the point where we're okay with people doing the same things over and over again, because I, for a very long time, I was silent about a lot of things. And now that I've become more vocal, I realize that the persons, I guess, who I encounter or persons who I'm around are just, I guess, according to that, of course, based on life experiences. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm at. And this was an amazing show. Get you some good girlfriends. I don't know. I think we need to touch this. Well, again, in another way. Oh, we'll okay. Probably double back, spin the block. Could we spin the block? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I love this. And being loyal to some people or whatever it is that you're loyal to could really, really make or break you. And there is a very thin line in determining, or the Holy Ghost really has to tell you and lead you on which way to take. That's my five cents. Hey, God. Yeah, the Lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm getting excited in my spirit. You all know why? Why? It's, it's about that time. Look here. This girl. Oh, yeah. This girl. She excited already. <coughs> anyway, catch us some good girlfriends, y'all. <laughs> Don't forget to be that good girlfriend, y'all. Um, <laughs> so they jump in and she even let me do the thing. Sorry, because you look like I didn't even get clicking. to say karate <clears throat> today. Oh, we didn't get that yet, man. Yeah, no, but we should but, just jump right in. It's okay, I though. Sorry. Uh, catch us some good girlfriends. Girlfriends who can appreciate and understand when your loyalty shifts. When you make a call and you make a decision, that's different from them. When you choose yourself 
over them, when you choose your family over them, when you choose your sanity, your mental health over them. Get you some girlfriends who will understand that this particular time and this season in your life may require you to be selfish because you need to preserve your marriage. You need to focus on yourself. You need some time to disconnect and get away from people, get away from life or whatever. Get you some girlfriends who will be understanding when your priorities look different from how they used to look. And... Nah, you oh. ready for it? Sorry. Ready. Bye, these, like, these people, I'm trying to get some organized. I'm so sorry. Don't get to be like, see, I already said my line. <laughs> You're supposed to say it in response to sorry. what I say. Sorry. <laughs> Rewind. Don't forget to be that girlfriend. <laughs> the shoulder that you can lean on. The iron that sharpens iron. Listen, I know we want people to be loyal to us, but let's be loyal to people and let's be understanding and let's have grace and let's learn to forgive God's way, not just based on how we feel Absolutely. and what um, is going on in our life. Boom. See? Look at that. Three hours later. This one got a whole song. Just a theme song for when. Okay, you know, got it. Go ahead. Moving slow. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. Adele. <laughs> okay, good. Find your tribe. That's right, ladies. Monday and gentlemen, because we have some men yeah, tuning in too. Yes. So, Monday, June 19th at 4 p.m. This can be good. This can be seriously good. With your girls, join Nay, Marisha, and Kara T. I had to put that in yeah, there. I see that. <laughs> Live on Facebook. Girl Talk 242. If you haven't liked the page, please like the page. That's where you're going to get exclusive information and so much more. Who knows? Maybe maybe Marisha might let us like say, we want to give you a little something once in a while. You know? I see this. Yes. Uh, Glory 93.9 FM. Next week, the topic is... Hold on, let me, let me put it... I don't want to forgive him. It's really the voice. I don't want, I don't want to. I don't. I, I, I don't, don't want to. Ooh, that's so heavy. Oh my that. goodness. I we don't want. Yeah. yeah. I hashtag don't hashtag want. He's lie. But I don't want to forgive hashtag him. Hashtag he's a thief. I glad to say I don't want to and not I can't. Mm. Hey, that's powerful. I don't want to. So make sure y'all tune in next week, Monday and the following week. Not well, the, not the following we, week. No, the following after the following week. <laughs> right. Because y'all, y'all please. Know the dates, Denisha. We don't need you messaging us talking Honestly. about where y'all is. No, July 3rd, mark your calendars. I'm telling y'all live on Facebook at Girl Talk 242 or Glory 93.9 FM. The topic I can, I can paraphrase this the real bohemian woman, bohemian B U H dash. H E E dash M Y. <laughs> Let me say U H N. Bohemian. Wow, girl. Wow, why do you spell that? She just said. Bohemian. <laughs> All right. So make sure that y'all are tuned in July 3rd. That's going to be myself good. up for that July 3rd show. I might as well let y'all know. Be, be wide awake July 3rd, okay? Be wide okay. awake. I I want to get I want to get an aquamarine wig. Wow. I can tell yeah. you where to get one off air. I know exactly where you can find one. It could be synthetic because I only yeah. wear it that day. Yeah, I I can tell you where to get one. I just saying it's at a company on air because they ain't sponsor nothing. Um, <laughs> I just being real. Marisha don't even give you a bligh. No, uh, uh Um, I can tell you where to get one off air. Um, okay. But no, while we end in the show, I just want to say this for real. And I say this on air. So when the listeners come on the show and y'all see me July 3rd looking like somebody run over me with a car, I am going to be with 200 teenagers the 30th, the 1st, and the 2nd of July. So if I walk in these doors on the 3rd of July like somebody run over me with a car, y'all just be gracious, okay? See? You see what I did there? I expressed and communicated to make sure that you understand that my loyalty is to be here even though I will be busted and exhausted. I'm going to be here for that show. I'm going to be here. Amen. 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 
Glory to God. Glory to God. It's been a great show, yes. guys. It's been real. We love and appreciate all of you. We say again, please like and share the show. We hope that you liked it. We hope that you shared it. Share the link in your WhatsApp groups. Share the link on Facebook and share the link on YouTube and on Twitter, wherever you're watching. Share the link. Share the link. Share the link. Get it out there. Stay tuned. Stuff come in. New stuff come in. And do you start singing the song? So um, it's time for us to get up on See out of here because it's a whole 10 minutes after 6. Bye. We love y'all, but we gone. Final try.